Oh, hi. So, uh, lobster tails today. One of my favorite simple recipes of all time. You know me, simple things done perfectly win every time. A little technique goes a long way. Let's get into the action. Yeah, I'm used to like two pound lobster tails again. This method works the exact same. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our shears, our kitchen shears, and just cut a line straight down the back of the lobster all the way to where the tail begins, okay? Now I'm gonna use kind of a crushing motion with my hand and snap these pieces. Listen, you'll hear it. Super easy. And now I'm able to bust out a little T section here. And let me show you what I mean. I'm just in there ever so gently busting out a little space for the tail to sit flat. And what we're going to do is pull that lobster meat right on top of the shell. This is a method, a technique, a presentation that's worked really well for me uh, the last couple decades in restaurants and at home. Notice how we've got two loins here. I'm going to grab my Seki Magoroku and just gently carve right down the center of these loins. Now this six inch knife is perfect for this smaller lobster tail. I've got complete control. I can choke up a little bit here and start to draw a cross hatch. And I'm just scoring ever so gently, creating avenues of flavor, nooks and crannies. And let me show you what this is gonna do for us. So now we've taken that four ounce tail and created more surface area. It's gonna cook more evenly uh, and it's gonna look really cool. So added presentation. Uh, quicker and, and more uh, even cooking. And then we're just gonna put a little seasoning in there. First, I'll start with a little salt and pepper. And then I want a little red in there. Just traditionally, I'm used to seeing like paprika or something, but here I've got a fun little sweet heat seasoning. And that red, it just provides a nice little textural contrast. So at this point, I like to put a little slice of butter on top. And again, all those little avenues that we've created uh, that butter is just going to melt and run right in there. And as it drips on the grill, it's going to roast. And then all those nooks and crannies are going to pick up those big, bold flavors. Let's get them on the grill. So today's grill setup, we've got a semi-indirect cook. Notice I've still got access to the charcoal so that it's rolling over. The heat signature is rolling over. I'm going to put my fan, I'm going to fan that tail out. However we fan that out is how it's going to stick. So great presentation. Look at that versus this, right? That's your, that's your $20 a plate, that's your $5 a plate, right? Get the fan out there. And remember that butter is just gonna run down and smoke and we're gonna get amazing flavor profiles throughout this whole thing. I'm gonna shut the dome now. We're looking for an internal temperature on these tails at about 170 degrees. Now that's important to note, that's where it gets tender. We always think 145 for fish, but if you take it to 170, it's gonna be a lot more tender. That's about 15 minutes at 450 degrees. So it's been about seven minutes and I can't help myself. Let's get in there and take a look. It's not done by any means, but I just wanna see the action. Oh yeah, notice how that butter's just strolling down right now, basting that lobster tail as it goes. And all that smoke, that's that burn was that smoke, right? So we're getting those big, bold, uh, nutty, aromatic flavors from that, from that beautiful butter as well. This is just pure lobster goodness. We're at that 15 minute mark, let's take, oh yeah. Oh yeah. These are just shorn up really nice, good and firm. And we'll just pull them off the grill and notice how that tail set exactly what we were gunning for. Oh yeah. I like these long plates for this, uh, this style of presentation. And I'm thinking what we'll do, we'll just slice the other one off the shell and kind of line it up right here. It'd be a fun way to do it. Yet another example of simple things done perfectly win every time. Uh, no butter dip necessary. Maybe just a little bit more of that acid. Oh my gosh, check that out. That was a remarkable bite. Uh, the right tools, the right techniques, and having a little bit of fun, I feel like that's the secret recipe. As always, from our backyard to yours, cheers. Oh, and, and happy grilling. I'm excited. <laughs>